Um, She's not a deep digger. No, I'm not. <laughs> good one, Ian. Good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Great. Well done. Life is a fragile thing. We must cultivate the beauty and prune back the rest. I think there's a hate-hate relationship for sure. <laughs> At the beginning with the with them two, it's kind of they just like immediately butt heads, and I think they're both pretty opinionated. And um, uh, uh, Deke is kind of our into the world, the the new world of space that we're in. Um, so there's a lot of having to maneuver and like operate on, on, in, on in, in like a team, and they don't operate well as a team. Good to see you all again. Yes, welcome to our home. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Yay. Oh, I didn't see uh, your oh, face. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's uh, nothing? You nothing? Didn't like when I hog the interviews. I, no, we agreed before that she would do most of the talking, and I'll stand here silently. We're talking about Butch. Huh? It was a joke. Okay. It wasn't really a funny joke. Uh, it was a great joke. Thank you. He didn't get it. Um, all right, Ian. Uh, I just still don't get it. Because she said, oh, I didn't see the cut, and I said, Ian doesn't like when I hog the interviews. I'm going to get there, and then they're like, no, no, no. It was okay. A but what's the... The joke is... Sorry, we're cutting into your time here. No, it's fine. Um, I want to talk the about the season. Got they it. get it. They're they're laughing. Right. They think we're great. <laughs> this is current... Yes, we are live streaming at this moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the new season and what we have going on in space. Yeah, um, let's do it. So in the first two episodes, we haven't seen Fitz at all. Mm -mm. We just got a note. Um, when are we going to see him? And what is he doing? Uh, Hopefully never. That's... It's one way of putting it. The, the, I don't know, well, I do know when he's gonna turn up, but I can't tell you when he's gonna turn up, but he will turn up. So he's doing something. He's he didn't just send a note and was like, well, good luck. He's for sure somewhere. It's okay. A, he is. Um, will we he be is dealing? Somewhere. I'm afraid that's all I can say just now, but he will be, he is somewhere right. In all honesty, in my contract, I was like, listen, we do 22 episodes. Do I, what's like, how can I not work with him? <laughs> Minimum amount of time. Like amount of time that I can work with Ian, and then they kind of just they just worked it into the storyline because yeah. they love me so much. So it was really catering to me and like my needs, which was really helpful for me. And that's the line we're sticking to for the media. Hey, I think that's a great line to go with. That's the narrative we're sticking to for the media, for, for um, the public. Last we saw, Fitz is still kind of dealing with a little bit of guilt. How much is that going to play into the season? Uh, that yeah, that'll definitely be that. The, 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 there's no. The, I don't think they could um, find a way around that without addressing it somewhere. So they, they yeah, they will. That will be a kind of. That'll definitely be on his mind. That's a big kind of uh, hurdle for him to to get over. Great. I imagine he was just like, well, they're gone. I'm good. Yeah. Sure, it's just another water off a duck's back by this time. Yeah. Awesome. Um, you say it. what is it? Water off a what? I don't know. A water off a duck. Yeah. What did I thought I you said mm, it's a it would be off a duck's back. <laughs> Wood off a dog's dog's back. <laughs> you know what they say? Wood off a dog's you know back. Say, there's some wood in the dog's back. Get it off of there before it burns. That's, that's an American thing, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. You know the thing. old saying. The old saying. <laughs> Get that piece of wood off. <laughs> Get that wood off my dog's back now. <laughs> this is like our first time doing it because usually he's paired with, paired with Elizabeth. How do you think we're doing? I think you're doing great. Thanks. This is great. I think I've asked a question. This great. is fun. <laughs> Um, I want to talk a little bit about Daisy yeah. or Quake or used to be Sky. Sky yeah, Mary Sue Poots. I actually have a new name this season. Ah. Yeah, I don't. I don't get to tell you though. It's not Mary Sue. I Poots? guess you. Do, I guess you do see it after. See? Yeah, my new name. The, so? the what? That's what, oh, what they call okay, me the right, whole right, season. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'm allowed to. Am I allowed to say that? No. No. Great. Nope. Well, here you heard it here first. Yes. There's, there's, a there's name. another name to add to the list. Yeah. Yeah. She, <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. She can be quaking it up in space. Um, I will say that this has been a, like an incredibly stunt heavy season for me. Um, so as opposed to previous seasons that weren't stunt heavy, this is actually like way more stunt heavy. Like oh. I've noticeably more bruises all over my body, <laughs> um, which has been so much fun. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of shit to get, t to get taken care of in space. And, um, and Daisy is stepping up to the plate as much as she can. Great. Like we are so excited for this season and the hundredth episode. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning to the both of you. And talk about a cliffhanger and some excitement going on. How's the season looking, guys? Uh, it's I, crazy. As you can see from there, suddenly we are in space because <laughs> our show 
blasts everything apart and takes us There's to some other... There's nowhere else to go. When, when, yeah, <laughs> yeah we, why not go to space? Else. Yeah, alien monsters, you know, sexy villains, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that line we heard there, you know, space, what else have we not dealt with? And that really kind of is a theme with this show and, and obviously being connected to the movies. Talk a little bit about your roles and how fans are so eat, sleep, breathe to what you guys are able to do on screen in these storylines. Yes, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we owe everything to the fans. I mean, the fans really started the Colson Lives movement, which is why we have a show to begin with. And it's so true that he, uh, Phil Colson had had done his duty in the Marvel Universe and, and expired uh, in the Avengers, and the fans started a movement. They 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 wanted more, and ABC and Marvel were kind enough to uh, grant them more. And he was shooting our 100th episode this week. Let's go back. Let's go yeah. back to you know the Iron Man even. Did you have any idea that this would propel in the way that this franchise, these storylines have? No, it was a, <laughs> no, no. It was a tiny part that they kept actually, I've done tiny parts and stuff. And um, you know, I'm, there is a crazy part of you, no matter how small the part is, that sits there, you know, with a bagel fantasizing like, they might realize that this guy's integral to the story mm -hmm. and start adding more stuff and then putting him in a series of movies and then you kind of <laughs> snap out of it and go say your line and go home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in this one particular instance, it turned into this crazy gift that keeps on giving and it's given us 100 episodes with this incredible cast and crew and it, it's given me uh, one of the greatest uh, new friends a guy could ever ask for. <laughs> guys feel as actors do you feel the challenges that each season seems to bring with this franchise yeah I mean you know I got cast as a, a computer hacker who lived in my van and five years later I play a superhero which is I would have never thought that um, uh, it's they've 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 given us so much they our showrunners are so smart because with 22 episodes a season there's so much content there and they just are so incredible at, at at reinventing the series within is within a season. I mean, la, season four we had basically three mini series in one in one season, and um, um, it's just it's really impressive. As actors, it gives us, you know, if we had to show up and basically do a different version of the same episode every week, I think we would have all gone crazy by yeah. now. And we're lucky to be in a Marvel show where it's like the comics, it's episodic. The same storyline carries, but through different worlds with different superheroes and villains. And if we get tired of, you know, talking in this talking scene, suddenly yeah. we're in a crazy fighting scene with mm -hmm. wires and visual <laughs> effects and super villains. Best of everything. Well, we can't say, can't wait to see where the characters go. Thank you guys both so much for joining us today. Best of luck and once again premieres Friday right here on ABC. Are we going to see some new love affair, maybe involving you guys? Is it though, actually? Because I feel like we are, just so everyone knows that, that she's, that wouldn't, she's not it's the. It's hard for him to like finally, finally do that. Like come out and admit it. Because Has it run out of back? Oh, so long. the film's running out. The film's running out. The film, film. You just want to finish off with. We're together. <laughs> okay, not true. Love, we're in love. Barry's right. So cute. Hey, Ross. What's up, Ross? Hey, Clark and Chloe. Thank you once again for joining us on Showbiz Express. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, hope you guys had a good holiday. It was nice. Uh, as we enter season five, and this is a biggie for you guys, as we premiere, uh, Colson and Daisy, the team stranded on a mysterious ship in outer space. Clark, pick up the adventure that we're going to follow. You know, it's... Uh... We ended last season after an incredibly taxing season in this alternate universe in a computer uh, trying to just have a calm sandwich and a piece of pie at a diner. And uh, some mysterious fellows showed up and blasted us into space. We're on a strange base inhabited by the Kree, who were from Guardians of the Galaxy, the giant blue alien race. That's, uh, they're kind of into um, enslaving people. So uh, we have to deal with that. And really the... The stakes are we have to figure out where we are and why we're there. And How did we get there? How do we get back? Yeah. Luckily, we got the kid with powers. Were you guys, Chloe, were you, were you surprised? You walk in, you know, prep up the, the scripts that they gave you. Uh, were you surprised at this? Or did you think, oh, this is kind of going where I thought it would? Uh, at the space part? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Did you see that coming? I don't. I don't know. I'm not really. The stuff I'm more surprised by are more of like the personal relationship aspect, but like in terms of like logistics of like, oh, that person's being eaten by this, or this is we're in space, or this is happening. There's Ghost Rider, and you know that kind of. I, I, it's kind of like what else? What, what, what more? But yeah, I think it's really it, they've done such a great job at like reinventing the show and and totally changing the aesthetic of the show and the look of the sound of the show and um uh and really dropping us into a whole different world, really. You know, because we're in space. What, what are the challenges now for you? Last time we spoke, I mean, you were you've been kind of getting used to each season as it was going on. This is a veteran situation. Uh, fans are, are just anticipating for you guys. What is this like challenge-wise as, as an actor? It's thrilling, to be honest. I mean, a lot of times when you're doing 22 episodes of a network show, you're basically doing a variation of the same episode all the time. And we don't have that problem. We have this core team that always grows and expands. Sometimes, tragically, we lose somebody, but then we get some new blood and a spectacular guest nemesis showing up. Uh, and the writers, Jed and Mo Whedon, Jeff Bell, our incredible team of writers, they, they completely reinvent the show in a different corner of the Marvel Universe. This year, it's so far, it's space, and it's really exciting and really different than anything we've done. And you do a couple of days of talking, and then this one, or me, or any one of us are suddenly doing an incredible fight scene, mm -hmm. uh, especially this one. Really beautiful stuff this year. And um, we're excited for people to see it. The Marvel released the first 17 minutes online this weekend, and the fans have been really supportive of it. Our fans of what have kept the show going. We're on our 100th episode right now, which is really exciting, and we're just thrilled to be hitting our stride now. The season's incredibly cinematic, and I think that it's, 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 it's fans are going to really, really like it. It's a totally different look. It's a totally different vibe, and it's, yeah, I'm excited for people to see. There's a lot of really fun stunts. That's what I will say this season. Okay, I want to condense this because we have just a, a short amount of time. The most important thing you guys want viewers to know going into this, the fifth season as you pass the 100th episode, is what? Every season our show has gotten better than the season before, and this year is no exception. I've got longer <laughs> hair. And she's got longer hair, people. <laughs> Clark, what, what should we know about I do Lord? not. Is she, does she surprise you still? Mine's a little shorter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> does she surprise you on set? Chloe? Every now and again. Yeah. Oh, yes, and I surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yes, we keep it light. I mean, acting yeah. is, is it, you're trying to retain a childlike thing, which, boy, we, we turn out to be do really that good so at. Well. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. We I keep also it am fun. a child. <laughs> we, really not are. anymore, actually. I was when I started the show, but not, not anymore. I have to be like an adult. No, thing. now you're all grown up. And, and finally, and finally, if there were any one thing about either of you or the show that surprised you as you get into this fifth season, any surprises that came to you that said, whoa. I didn't see that coming. I thought we'd really start to get on each other's nerves more. Yeah. And instead, I kind of love everybody uh, more than I ever more. have. Like it really, like we really, really genuinely love each other. When and and we and that shouldn't happen because we spend so much time together. And some days more than others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's a family. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're, you're like you're like spouses on the, on the on set. Sometimes of. siblings. Yeah. Sometimes siblings. It works. Right. Hey, yeah. well, guys, was there a hundred episode? Was there a take? Giant cake. You can see it all over it's Instagram. Still in, it's, and it looked really weird. I thought, it, is this is this a real cake or is it like a fake cake? But it, it was, was real so and good. it was so damn delicious. It looked like it would taste like the smell of Costco, but it tasted really good. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted like the cake of Costco, which is also so really good. good. Don't want to alienate and Costco. We, we love you, Costco. <laughs> I love Costco. By the way, best hot dogs. If you ever want to take me on a date, take me to Costco. Give me a hot dog. Please, can we change with, the subjects now? <laughs> with that said, it's a big two-hour premiere on Friday. And you move on to Fridays, which is really good. You know, at the end of the week, you, you unwind, and there Some people are, used, to think, yeah, they used to think Fridays was a bad night for TV. <laughs> Turns out Friday is now the hottest the night of TV. Night TV. And with DVRs, you don't even have to watch it Friday. We will be on Fridays this coming Friday, uh, uh -huh. eight, two-hour premiere at 8, 7 Central. But normally we will be... At nine. nine, eight central. Yes. All right. We will we will uh, watch as the season unfolds. This season number five, 
uh, guys, uh, continued success uh, as we watch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Friday nights now on ABC. Thank you, Clark. Thank you, Thank Clark. you, Ross. Thank you. God, your eyes are writing. sparkling right now. They're so blue. Are you being, are I'm you, serious. This light makes your eyes look so blue. Patron, Can we get a close-up and put some like sexy music? Oh, yeah. Yeah.